And the Brownlow was won in convincing circumstances by Dane Swan on Monday night. Uh, a year late, I'm thrilled that he's a Brownlow medalist and uh, he's handled it really well. Mum loves it. Mum loves the fashion more than the football side. She wouldn't know if I had a kick all year, but um, <laughs> you know, Dad's more annoyed and I, I certainly didn't get my uh, jeans from my mum. She can't play sport to save herself, but um, <laughs> Dad, Dad's the one. But they've both been fantastic to support me ever since I was a kid. Chris Judd, Adam Goods, Gary Ablett, just super, super players, and you know, they, I'm not. I shouldn't be mentioned in the same breath as players like that. I'm, cl I'm clearly a rung under them, but um, like I said, it's, it's pretty surreal at the moment. But you know, I'll certainly take it. Just happy that I could win an award. Uh, it's like the Brownlow's to, um, you know, just so I can uh, sort of show off to my parents a little bit, and you know, they're, they're as proud as can be, and um, you know, I'm rap for them. That's what I am. I'm just just a normal dude who just plays footy. He handled himself on him. brilliantly. A normal dude who plays footy. That's what he is. He likes a beer. He'll be celebrating long and hard. Oh, if they win, of course. But no, I was pleased as well. And I, I agree with you. I thought he should have won it last year. I thought he was clearly the, the better player last year. We, we, we touched on it separately, didn't we, in um, our observations of the Brownlow medal. You spoke about it on Sunday here on Fox. I spoke about it on, on, the, on the other program, Game Day, believing that the umpires are human... So what they'll do, they realised last year they may have given Judd overs, mm -hmm. so they'll mark him harder this year. And I knew from round one, when against Richmond, when he, I thought, whoa, what's going on here? And they, and they overcompensated, I reckon. It was a joke that Juddy was so far back. He had a super, super year. Can, let's just go through some of the voting as to who the season's best player was. Now, we shouldn't value groupthink because there's no correct answer to these, but these are all over the place. If you start with the MVP... Here and <clears throat> Chad won by an absurd number, and Swan was not even one of the three nominees from Collingwood, let alone the eight finalists in the award. Then Swan wins the Brown though with a record number of votes under the 3 2 1 system, while the coaches week by week find the teammate of the MVP to be. I mean, that is all over the place. Yes, it is. I'm, I'm one of the people who I, I think the MVP has become. Not as serious an award as it was. And I'm not denigrating anyone who's won it. I, I mean that. But they, they're listening to the media. You, know, they, 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 some, you interview some of them on, on, on radio. Do you watch games? No. They just read up. And they say, oh, Juddy, 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 Juddy. Murph polled him, what, 12 games? What, eight single-digit yep. votes? That's why he won the um, Coaches Award. And who won the middle one? Swanee. Swanee. Swanee was a deserved Brownlow medal so, winner, mate, by, by far. Let I me show you the was. three two ones from the four radio outlets who poll in the same way as the umpires. And Swan is there, and in fact, he's the Brownlow medalist in each of those awards. How he ran double figures, we should have put these up last week. But with Mitchell mm. being out in the ABC award, he won SEN. He Jeez, drew you guys marked him hard, didn't you? ABC 22. And he won Triple M. Um, 34 at the high it's end McClure with Sien <laughs> was up there. And Judd polled about the way that he did through these awards. If you go week by week rather than the broad perception, um, Judd was never a stand to, to get into the 30s this year. It's a curiosity. Yeah. It's really <laughs> interesting. I'm not I exactly gonna, sure what it means. Neither do I. Yeah, I, tell, I, I, hope it means, it, I hope it means we've got a lot of great players playing AFL footy. If Murph won the Brownlow medal, would you have been surprised? I wouldn't have been. Nope. If Juddy won it, I wouldn't have been surprised. I wasn't surprised about Swan. I wouldn't have been surprised about Pendlebury. I didn't think Adam Goods was going to win it, so I'm not surprised he didn't poll well. But of those top four, I would have had no problem if any of them won the Brownlow medal. As one who said last year that the umpires were the last group to figure out how influential and dynamic Dane Swan was, I'm glad they sorted that out. And overcorrected. He did poll, overcorrected, no doubt. He didn't have a 34-vote season. He didn't have as good a season <laughs> as he did last year. But I will say this. The slate is now, no, no, the slate no. is now clean. Nobody needs yeah. to be squared up oh, with bull. next year. No Just way. My start money from scratch. My money is going to be so much on Sam Mitchell because <laughs> they're going to feel sorry for him for getting suspended when he shouldn't have. I want to say one thing. Swanee almost did deserve 34 votes. He kicked what 30 mid goals. Goal kicker stand out. He had we we said it. We had what 14 consecutive games of 30 plus. I think he was much deserved of 34 mm. votes. I just thought Juddy would have been up there as well. I'm glad he won it. So Righto.